Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four random candy bars that we found while on vacation in Hawaii. We have the Meiji Strawberry Chocolate, the Toggy Wafers. A uh, bar none and a good news. Uh, these were different prices. The Toggy and Meiji, these two, were both found in a store called Don Quixote. The Toggy was 109, the Meiji was 229. The other bars, uh, the uh, Good News was found at a gas station called Haley. Haley. H E L E. It's a Hawaiian gas station. Um, and it was $1.39. That was the Good News. The Bar None we found at 7 Eleven. And um, I don't know, I'm not sure how much that one was. So we'll start off with the Meiji Strawberry Chocolate. It. Um, it says there's two servings, 140 calories per serving. It is a product of Japan. We have had the Meiji brand before. Um, they're the ones that make the little, um, the little like biscuits and strawberry and chocolate and vanilla. They're really good. And it feels like it's already separated into little pieces, which I like. No, it's just broken. Oh, it's just broken? <laughs> okay. It's just that one for I like how the outside bag is actually a cardboard box. Yeah, yeah, it's it's cardboard, and the rest of them are just in paper. Uh, but this is more like um, like the Shogetten that we get at Aldi that are from Germany. They're in uh, cardboard, aren't they? Aren't they in cardboard? The Shogetten. They're in a cardboard tray. Yeah. Uh, this is what they look like. Like little dents in the. Okay. The strawberry, you can smell it. Mm -hmm. It's very soft chocolate, too. It has a strawberry and cream kind of flavor. Like a, almost like a strawberry milk. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I like it. I do, too. It's a very light flavor. It is. The... Um, but you would know what it was. Yes, you would absolutely know what it was. But I think it would keep you eating the bar just wanting more. Mm -hmm. Because you'd be wanting more of the strawberry flavor because it doesn't seem that strong. Honestly, would it be one I would buy again and again? No. Because I would rather have a stronger strawberry flavor. Yeah, I like There's it. nothing wrong with it yeah. at all for me. It's just that... I want a stronger flavor. Because I get, I get the lingering flavor, the, the chocolate's super smooth and, and very it's, soft and creamy. It is very it just soft like chocolate. It melts yeah. in your mouth and just like, just dissolves. No, just, I agree. It's, it's, it's just, a pleasant eating experience, but the flavor is a little light, but it reminds me of chocolate milk. I mean, uh, strawberry milk. Strawberry milk, yeah. This is Toggy Wafers. This is milk chocolate, crisp wafers, and pure milk chocolate. I believe we also saw dark chocolate. Uh, fine European wafers. It says they are produced in Greece. Uh, two wafers, there's one serving. Two wafers are 280 calories. So this entire package. And they're, they're, they look like a Twix, except they're very long. Yeah, or a big Kit Kat. <laughs> mm-hmm. That wafer has a little bit of a chew to it. It is. It, um, they come across as almost stale. Yes. And that's just how they are, I think, though. The bar is definitely not stale. No. But but that's the texture they come across is if you've had a stale wafer before, that's what they come, that's what they kind of have the same texture of. This would be another one that I would not buy again. That one's not one. I would buy the strawberry one again. This one is not one I would buy again. It, um, because. We're used to the Bortman wafer cookies, and those wafers are really nice and light and crisp mm -hmm. and always fresh. Even a Kit Kat has got wafers in yes. it. It's good and crisp. This, all yes, time. and this, uh, like Kevin said, it does come across as stale because it's a soft wafer. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the flavor's just not that strong. It's, the, it's just okay. It's just not that much to it. It's, yeah. um, it's, it's, it's a pretty bland light. Yes, flavor. it's very bland. Yeah. So now we have a, a bar none. It is a chocolate wafer, pure milk chocolate, and peanuts. And it is made in New York. Hmm. 
I'm surprised we don't get those right here. No, it's made by I Iconic Candy in New York, and it is 230 calories for the bar. It's funny we travel to Hawaii to find a bar that's made in New York. The, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, and you can see the wafer. It's this is soft. You can see the wafer on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, you know. Okay. I, are you sure? Whatever. I don't mind to just bite it. I, I wasn't thinking about it. I don't mind cooking it. That one's almost kind of melty. Mm-hmm. Now that's a good way. Mm-hmm. That's the first one we've had that's had a stronger flavor. Mm-hmm. Well, I love the crispness of that wafer, too. And it's very crisp. I love the pieces of peanut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. a little different texture to it. It's really good. The chocolate in that um, kind of reminds me of a um, of a chocolate in a Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like that um, Nestle uh, Nestle chocolate, mm -hmm. and um, so the chocolate is nice. It is a stronger chocolate than we had in either of the previous bars. Yeah, yeah I agree. It's just a better bar. Yeah. yeah so now we're all just a better bar. This one's called Good News. Rich milk chocolate, peanuts, and caramel. Uh, this is called is made by Christopher's. Christopher's good news. Um, Adams and Brooks Inc. in San Bernardino, California. And that makes more sense that Hawaii has something from California than, than us. And it's 240 calories. So people in California are probably used to. Ooh, wow, it's already falling apart. Probably used to getting a lot of things by Christopher's. Okay, just so there's a nice even. Yeah, that caramel's really tough. Mm-hmm. You know what the first flavor I get though? Peanuts. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the texture. I do too. I thought it was gonna be too tough at first. That's a good chewy caramel. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of a Goo Goo Cluster. Is that mm -hmm. what they're called? Yeah, with the peanuts. Mm hmm And the caramel. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. Absolutely This delicious. caramel is a little tougher. Mm hmm it, it, it lasts longer. Yes. Um, you really get a strong, raw peanut flavor. Yes, you do. I, I would get that again and again. I think that is absolutely terrific. Mm -hmm. If you very, have very trouble nice. with your teeth and stuff sticking into your teeth, you probably would not want to buy this just because that caramel is really, really thick. But when you take a bite like I did and you get it in your mouth, it just, Kevin's right, it does last a while because yeah. it's it's so thick but it's so sweet and you do get the raw peanut. Yeah. That's the best one here for me. It is for me too. And then, then the, the, uh, then the bar nine. Bar nine would be the yes. next one. Yeah. And the strawberry would for me would be third and the other one would be last. These would be the only two that I would get again. Would be the That's the only two I would honestly get again. Yeah. Wonder why they're called Christopher's Good News when the company is uh, Adams and Brooks. Maybe I don't know. Son or Who knows? Oh well, that's true. You never know. Uh, These store, I'm sure there's a story behind it somewhere. Probably, but that that's a terrific candy bar. Or that company bought Christopher's and. Right, yeah, I don't know, but I really like that, and that's one. It's very good. They could sell that here, and people would love that. I don't know why they don't sell it. Well, I mean, I guess it's cost and shipping and all that stuff. It would remind you, it has like, um, you know, a Snickers has that nougat. This does not have that, but it, it has, still has the same great flavors, and I can imagine people that that love Snickers would love this too. Yeah, I, Absolutely. I would, I would get that. Yeah. So, if you've had any of these, you can let us know your opinion, what you think of them, and thanks for watching.